Hey everybody, it's Paul and I'm here to talk to you today about some new features that are available in Qi 2 Box Pro version 1.4, a new version that's coming out shortly. I had the opportunity to play with it and I gotta say, these new functions are awesome. So let's dig into some of the new things that are available in Qi 2 Box Pro 1.4. One of the first things that I'd like to talk about with the new Qi 2 Box Pro version 1.4 is they've added a bunch of new machines. As you can see here, they've got a laundry list of machines that have been added. So if your machine is not one that was currently supported or you've bought one of the new machines, don't you worry, Qi 2 Box has got your back. Most of the new functions that are in Chi2 Box Pro version 1.4 have to do with support. But before we get there, we need to orient the model the best way possible. And I gotta say, with Chi2 Box Pro, one of the nicest features is their auto everything. So we can come over here on the prepare tab and use the auto orientation feature to get the model oriented the best way possible. If you're curious, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Donatello version of the Paul Bot, which is available over on my Ko-Fi slight plug there. So let's jump over here to support. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your advanced tab. So we're going to click on that. I already did. We're going to bring it over here. This is so I can move things in and out. A couple of things that I want to bring to your attention is one of my favorite things, which is creating bi-directional cross structure. In the past, when you would create supports, it would automatically generate these cross sections here. But the problem was, is it would only create it one directional. That's not really going to give you great support vertically when you're printing your model. But now with the generate bi-directional cross structure on there, if you notice as I'm pulling away, we're actually now getting cross sections for two in two directions here, which creates triangles, which are the strongest geometric forms. Now you can see we have actually bi-directional. Look at that. That's awesome. I love it because we can use minimal supports, minimal additions, but now we're getting stronger structures because we've invested in triangles. Something else that they have added here, which is the advanced automatic support. By default, this is turned off. Same with the generate bi-directional cross structures. You need to jump into your advanced support settings to turn those back on. If we enable the enhanced automatic support, you notice that there are now three options, independent reinforcement, triangular reinforcement, and now this new one called global reinforcement. Now, how exactly does that work? Turn on our advanced automatic support global reinforcement, and we click all again. Now we can see that the supports are supporting each other, which is an awesome thing when we're talking about models that are really high off the ground. Look at that lattice that we've got in there now. This is like an FDM print where all of the support structures support each other. Another new feature that's been added in Qi 2 Box Pro version 1.4 is the ability to adjust your Z lift height once you have added your support structures. In the past, if you went and adjusted this, the support structures would move with it. Now we have the ability to change it. And as you can see, it automatically adjusts the height of your supports. So if you notice that your model uh, doesn't have enough lift or you've got other issues that you need to deal with, we can now go in and after we've added our supports, go in here and adjust the height and it will automatically readjust your supports. The last new feature I want to talk about is actually in your printer settings. If we open up our slice settings here, we go to the advanced tab, you can find anti-aliasing and image blur enabled. Now, in the past, if you had a model that had a lot of curves on it and the curves weren't very smooth, you would get these little faceted edges on here. If you enabled pixel blurring here, what would happen is it would help to smooth that out so it'd be a slightly rounder, uh, not as hard edged on those angles there. On the previous versions of Chi2 Box, we had the ability to have up to two, three, and four pixels. As you notice here, they now have the ability to image blur it up to eight which is gonna help with some of the lower resolution models to appear more rounded. And there we have just some of the new features that are available in Qi2 Box Pro version 1.4. They've also done some optimizations and such under the hood, some cool things that help make it run faster and better than the previous versions. I'll be releasing more videos that go in depth into some of these new features, so be sure to keep an eye out for those. Hit that like and subscribe button. Remember to work smarter, not harder, and hopefully you guys learn something today. I know I did. I'll see you next time.